Okay, so if we go to settings, so we'll go through all of these features one by one and then we'll go through the advanced features. So you've got organizational details. So here you've got the display name and the legal trading name. A display name is what's here. The legal trading name is what will be on your reports and your invoices and your bills. Here you've got the company, the business registration, a description, your address, and you can add additional contact fields as well if you want. Let's just save that. Go back. Users. So I showed you. So we've added the new guys as read only again. Just if you just let us know separately when what level of access they need, then we can change that. But to invite a user, you need to have the name and email. You're not going to have projects, so you don't need to worry about that. If the person's going to be a payroll admin, they need to uh, you need to tick this button. If they don't want them to have to know or have access to payroll data, you untick it. Here you've got business and accounting. Uh, you've primarily got four levels. Invoice only. So invoice only can only create drafts, which I showed you before, or sales or purchases or, or approve and pay sales and purchases. And that's it. You've got standard. So standard does all of invoice only, but it also they also can have access to the bank and they can run and review reports if they want to. And you can also allow them to manage users. Advisor has access to everything, including if you want to manage users and be a bank account admin. And then you have read only. So read only would literally either have access to everything, but they can't touch anything. So effectively you'd give read only access to management and auditors and that's it. We go back. Currencies. So if you're trading with other countries, this is where you need to add the currency because when you're invoicing a client or you're receiving bills, you need to make sure that the right card you you're including a, a new currency. Now the way currencies work is in zero is linked to Etsy.com and it changes and it updates their FX every day. The, the, what that means is that balance sheet balances are revalued every day as well so literally every day there's a revaluation going on in the balance sheet now you can fix it if you want if you fix it you can choose predetermine your own fx rate but what that means is that everything will be revalued at that amount and you can also set dates as to when you fix it as well so let's say you wanted to fix the fx rate for 2020 at a certain fx rate then you can do that as well so Although it's using xc.com, you do have the ability to change it based on reporting requirements or if you have a, a, um, you know, a hedge with a bank or whatever have you. So you, you do have the ability to do that. Connected apps. Here you can see all of the apps that are connected. So we haven't yet connected. Um, uh, we haven't yet connected Pipedrive. We'll be connect, connecting that this week. Other apps as well. Actually, that was my question. I kept forgetting. Is that HubDoc? So we haven't discussed that yet. The uh, how HubDoc works and how that ties in, and how you hash, how you upload documents, hashtag them, and tie them to a vendor invoice and yeah. LPO. Yeah, we, we, we can do that. We can do that shortly. Subscription and billing. This is obviously only Robert. Only you have access to to that. Invoice settings. So we've created a number of different invoice templates for you. One is for tax invoices when you start going on using VAT and one for non-tax for now. Now, we've done this for you and we need to add the new logos and the templates. But these are all the different branding themes. And the way this works is if you go to invoice, I go to new invoice, the branding is here. These are the different types of invoices I can choose. And we haven't yet, we still need to add the logos. We'll do that this week as well. And then you can see different invoice settings. Now, the only thing about the invoice settings is we've created the invoice template as per UAE V18 laws. I'm pretty sure it'll be the same in Oman, but if there's any changes, then that template would need to be changed. Now, it is a little bit, so these are custom, and so they are a little bit tricky. I'll just show you how they look for now but you may need help from us to change them if you do. 
Now, this is how they look, right? So I can delete certain things if I want or add, you know, add information as a Word document. Where it's highlighted and you see like these two kind of radar buttons, it means it pulls out data from the Zero database. So you have to be quite careful in the way you edit this template. So again, we're, we're going to add the logo to all of them now because you've got a new logo that we've provided and we'll do that this week. Sorry, is there anywhere in Zero that gives us the um, how we can edit that later? So if I want to do a yeah, little yeah. quick I mean, Yeah, yeah. I mean, in, in Zero, there's, they've got a really good help function, right? So if you go to Zero Central and I type uh, invoice template, there's lots of resources there that you can uh, you can use to help you if you need to change. The standard one, the only things you can edit up in there. Okay, let's just open a new branding. Oh, it's because it's in demo. Let me just go back to marketing technology. Okay, the standard one, it allows you to make these types of, anything that's here can be edited, right? So you can change the title, the size, whether you in include these bits of information, whether you add credit card services, PayPal, and where you add information on things like terms and conditions. So you can do that in the standard one, but then that's it. In the customized one, there's a lot more you can do. That's why we've created custom invoice template uh, templates for you as well. That's that payment services. Not really. If you do decide, if you do have an overseas bank account and you you want to link it here, then Stripe is quite good because uh, then you can take payments and it will automatically reconcile it. PayPal is linked as well, but you can you you can't automatically reconcile. What you happen is. When you send an invoice, you can send a PayPal link that can click into the PayPal link and then pay for your invoice through PayPal. And obviously, if you've got a, a, a custom URL that you can use as well. I've showed you the email settings in the beginning. Again, this is the email address that you, the recipient would see. And here are the email templates that you can change. You can add a email template as well. But again, it's not that, it's not really, that customizable one there's only certain things that you can change not, not much you can change you can change you know you can add placeholders you can add a message and a message here but there's not really much formatting you can do um so a lot of it is very much text-based that's that uh pay runs so this is the pay run is obviously the the payroll function and that those, those settings i've already i've already gone through in the previous example so zero to zero this is where if you've got more than one zero if you've got more than one zero entity and you want to send invoices and bills between them you have a zero network key and what this does is if i was to create an invoice to a subsidiary or sister company when i select approve it will then automatically send create a bill in the other company from this company so it kind of saves you time from keying information more than once so if you do decide to have more than one zero entity this is quite a nice feature to have custom contact to links this is more to do with certain links that you have for custom for, for a contact this is more useful for say developers when they want to develop some sort of api between zero and and another software where you'd have a certain bit of information that you'd have for a certain person. So let's say you have uh, a contact, you can create a, uh, a link here. Again, this wouldn't really be that much relevant for you, 